Sure. So we conducted a study at the Mount Sinai Hospital where we looked at patients who had been treated with CAR T cell therapies who had relapsed refractory multiple myeloma. But what we focused on was how extramedullary disease and paramedullary disease impacted these outcomes. Specifically right now in the myeloma field, there are two ways of thinking of extramedullary disease. Some people categorize all soft tissue plastocytomas as extramedullary disease, uh, but increasingly we're recognizing that patients who have soft tissue plasmacytomas that are totally disconnected from bone do much worse than patients who have plasmacytomas that are still attached to bone, and they seem to be two separate entities. When we focus on outcomes following CAR T cell therapy, what we found was actually patients with what we call paramedullary disease, that is, the lesions attached to bone, did just about the same, um, both regards to progression-free survival and overall survival as patients who had marrow-only disease. Uh, conversely, patients with truly extramedullary disease did significantly worse uh, in both categories. With progression-free survival, uh, it was over two times, uh, about two times worse than patients with marrow-only disease, while overall survival was close to four times worse, uh, with a hazard ratio for death of uh, about 3.8. We also noted that as extramedullary burden increased, the, uh, the chance of getting a deep remission or a response at all decreased. And so it looks like patients with larger tumors, extramedullary tumors, seem to do worse as well. Finally, we looked at when patients relapsed, what those the characteristics uh, were at relapse. And we found that for about 40% of patients who are relapsing with extramedullary disease, in the bone marrow, they were actually still MRD negative. So even within the same patient, uh, the tumor in the extramedullary compartment seems to be much more resistant to CAR T cell therapy than the tumors in uh, the tumor cells that are in the bone marrow microenvironment. Um, and finally, we found that going into CAR T cell therapy, about 25% of patients had extramedullary disease, but when it came to patients who were relapsing after CAR T cell therapy, this increased to about 50% of patients. And so over the next couple years, really finding ways to better treat our extramedullary tumor patients is, is going to be a big priority because over time it seems like this is going to be a, a more common problem that we see.